the podcast. Your one-stop shop for the best bits of Triple M's Hot Breakfast. Now with Blakey. And Rebel Sports, your one-stop shop for all your footy needs. Why do, mm. why do uh, Chris Dittmar and, and uh, Rue want me to go on the rush hour? What's all that about? Do you guys Politeness. Know? Told yeah, to by the bosses. Exactly. Oh, do you, oh, you reckon? Under orders. Well, I keep hearing that... Because yeah, di- I know Ditz, and Ditz is a good bloke, and I used to work with him. And um, I don't know Rue, but... Rue's a great bloke. Is he? Yeah, I don't you know. You couldn't find a nicer bloke than him. That, that's what I've heard. But I don't mm. think I want to go on their show. I've got Have, enough doing this, and I don't, yeah. I don't really think I want to. We don't want you wasting any gold on that show well, either, that, that's, that's the thing. They're <laughs> going to expect me to turn up and you know be all funny and, and maybe bring something prepared. And I stress enough yeah. about getting stuff ready for this. Yeah. I don't, Have you heard their show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not that good. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why they want you on. Well, what, are they, 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 what is it, three hours? And they can't come up with enough stuff by themselves to three. Fill it? Three. No, well, hang on, how we'll right, two. We do three, three to five. Oh, it's two. Two. Yeah, they, do, they do two. Plus yeah. songs, two plus ad breaks. Oh. <laughs> So they do about 20 minutes of show, and I don't like sport much, so I can't join in there. Well, I don't even know. But I listened to it yesterday. It is a good show. Um, yeah. Now, Mark Rusciuto, Chris Dittmar. It's Triple M's Rush Hour. Yes, and a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Rush Hour. I'm Chris Dittmar, former world number one squash player, but never world champion. Damn you, Jahinga! <laughs> Let's say hi to Mark Rusciuto. Rue, how are you? Yeah, good day, Ditch. Australia lost the cup. Rue, how do you see the Crows going this season? Yeah, well, I am. Um, Not that um, I'd give a crap about them and wouldn't care about them if they were all on the Titanic together. Yeah, yeah. Or if they were all on a bus that went over a large cliff and fell into a ravine which was full of water and they all couldn't swim, so they drowned. Yeah, well, um, yeah, 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 bloody biased Port Adelaide prick. Or if they were all sitting at the base of an active volcano with hot lava pouring over them until they all were severely burnt into little crow crisps. Oh, yeah, did so, I reckon. Yeah, it's um, jealous because we've got two and you've got... One. <laughs> you still can't get over Jahinga. I don't think I will yeah. go on unless the bosses... I don't bosses... think you'll have to worry about going on yeah. now. Don't reckon? Yeah. They reckon they'll, they'll cancel that invitation? <laughs> I they might. I think, unless the bosses tell me I have to, then yeah. I probably will, because I'm only new, Millie, as you know, and I, I, I um, say yes to most things at the moment, even though I'm good at saying no. At the moment, for the next yeah. couple of weeks, I'll be saying... Yes yeah. to things. You could adopt no. a, uh, so a pol- probably... policy of ruse, though. What's uh, that? Where there's a till, there's a way. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pay me the money. Yeah. Yeah. Show Show me Rue me has the... a saying, Blake. <laughs> it starts with this. Every time you have a conversation with, with Rue, it goes, yeah. how much? <laughs> yeah, how much are you going to pay me? Triple M's Hot Breakfast. If you miss Triple M's Hot Breakfast, shame on you. But here's what you missed out on. I've been here. What is this third week? I've been sitting around with you guys mm-hmm. now and having a bit of fun. And, yeah, uh, time se- flies. Haven't seen Rue in the oh. corridors yet. He hasn't had a chance to smack me in the head because mm. he's been threatening to. Do you want some feedback? Uh, yeah, because obviously I do footy with Rue and, and is, we, we share it with carpool. What is he? Has he said anything? Oh, look, he's just. All I know is he's on the phone to some people that I really don't trust and understand. <laughs> <laughs> really? and, oh, and, fantastic! And your name seems to what? be coming up. So he's not man enough to do it himself, is what you're saying? I, he's going to kill you, bloke. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd give him another reason to do it. <laughs> Morning, <sir. laughs> Now, Mark Rusciuto, Chris Dittmar, it's Triple M's Rush Hour. Yes, and welcome along once again to the Rush Hour. Chris Dittmar with you, former world number one squash player. But does that really mean anything considering any twat can hit a ball against a wall? Mm. Joining me as usual, of course, Crows champion footballer. Yeah, um, Mark Rusciuto, get a room. Yeah, you know, it is, yeah. Even though it's actually pronounced Rusciuto. Yeah, it's Italian. And a lot of people <laughs> would find it hard to believe that I'm actually prepared to sit in a studio with a Crows footballer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, one eye, poor Adelaide redneck, redhead. On the line right now, let's talk to Rick Biglands from the Adelaide Crows, who'll be on the boundary for us again this year, running around like a big girl. Yeah, good day, Ditch, you poor Adelaide ranger. Now, Rhett, do you expect the Crows to run around like a bunch of girls again this season? No, I don't, Ditch. I reckon they're really ready for some good contests, and uh, I wouldn't write them off just yet. No, you might be right there. Well, can we write them off at maybe round four? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. They're looking pretty good. Hey, my ass. Hey, Biggles, man, man. Um, not in the ass, man, midfield. <laughs> hey, Ditch, even though I know you struggle with English down at the port, what did he say? He said the Crows are going to play like a bunch of prepubescent girls this season. <laughs> ah, Biggles, I didn't say I don't know. No, I did sit, poor Adelaide, numb nut. <laughs> what did he say? 
decide it. He said, is it true that the Crows are going to be wearing ball gowns to every match this season? <laughs> what did he say, Dit? No, it wasn't Ruse. Someone just rode a trail bike into the studio. I'm listening to you, buddy. I'm you down and won't be bloody waterside worker. Midlands, all the best and look forward to working with you this season, even though you played for those fairies over at the Crows. Yeah, no worries, Dits. Look forward to it. Just don't tell anyone I know you. No worries at all, Rhett Biglins. Because you smell a bit like fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now everyone wants to smack me in the head. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a, gonna be a <laughs> game hit. Trudis has just walked back oh, in now. Trudis, look, we, know, we know Rue pretty well. And look, I don't want to preempt anything, but... No. I think it would be akin to the Empire striking back. <laughs> <laughs> he did walk in the other day and goes, has he got a missus? Yeah. <laughs> What's his story? What's he like? What's what? he really like? Because if I about... say this about him, is he going to get all touchy? And I'll go, oh, oh, oh. What is he going to say about him and missus? What's it? Oh, good about? luck. I You're won't say anything about it. That's what he'll do, Doc. <laughs> what, is he, what, is he, what, he's going to try and win her, is he? <laughs> oh, that's great. If it's hot in Adelaide, hot in Adelaide. it's on Triple M's Hot Breakfast. Every weekday from 6. If it's hot in Adelaide, it's on Triple M's Hot Breakfast, every weekday from 6. There's a bloke that works here at Triple M, I've only met him once, his name's Mark Ricciuto. It's actually mm. pronounced Ricciuto with the hard ch. Um, uh, Mark Ricciuto, and he, uh, he's on the, uh, what's it called, the Rush Hour with uh, Chris Dittmar, and mm-hmm. he's been singing, Rue's been singing lately, we've heard that, you know, he's singing the, uh, the club songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah, some yeah. reason, it, and... Uh, I don't know if anyone knows, but Ruse just released an album, and uh, wow, oh. I know it's fantastic. I've got cool. the promo for it right here. If Jeez. you'd like to, if you'd like Love to, hear love it. to hear it. All right then. Yep. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't actually work. Oh, wait a minute. Doesn't no. it? Haven't you got your record player? Is it his own record label? Because he's pretty cashed up. No, no, yeah. I don't think so. No. I think it comes from Raspy Records. Oh. The, uh, yes. <laughs> At last, the album you've been waiting for, full of the songs you love, featuring the enchanting voice of Mark Rusciuto. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> Tonight, did you miss me tonight? Mark Rusciuto sings the songs that change the world. In my hour of need, I truly am indeed alone again, naturally. I can't bridge over trouble. Retreat into a world of sonic beauty with the new album, Mark Rusciuto Sings the Ballads. Hey, Jude, don't make it bad. I can't help falling in love with you. The wait for real music is over. Mark Rusciuto sings the ballads. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? The songs you know and love with the incredible tones of Mark Rusciuto. Birds singing in the sycamore tree. Dream a little dream of me. Mark Rusciuto sings the ballads. Only 1995. <laughs> out now from Raspy Music. Sorry. Available at all the all uh, really obscure record stores. <laughs> Mate, good for Easter. Good Easter gift. Oh God, yes. If you don't yeah. want to give chocolate, I'm saying get one of those. Buy it now for someone you hate. If it's hot in Adelaide, hot in Adelaide. It's on Triple M's Hot Breakfast, every weekday from 6. You missed Triple M's Hot Breakfast. Shame on you. But here's what you missed out on. Hey, uh, I hate talent shows. <clears throat> why? That's it. That's the end of my segment. I just wanted to say that. Uh, why? Because yeah. uh, I mean, I watch this voice thing. You, know, you think that the new one might come out. It might be different. It's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's different because the chairs it's are spinning around. Show. Oh, it's horrible! Who said that? Me. Oh, <laughs> it's horrible. Tell you what, it's uh, the, the the passion of the of the, the Delta and Delta oh. and and bloody Seal and two other people I've never heard of, and, and punch in the air. And Delta's that. no good. She's no, just she's on it. She oh, shouldn't be on it. Give you that bloke. You can't stand oh, it. Oh, and they so, and they, they hear the voice, of the person singing behind. Them, they go yes, and they hear the mm. they say yes, oh yes. And I'll shut up. And then they turn around and think, God, what am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> and they hit their buzzer. Yeah. No one else did it. No one else did it with me. Yeah, yeah. But uh, last night was fantastic. 
Yeah? Did, didn't did you catch it? No, oh, I didn't say last night. No. I mean, I knew this would happen eventually, that yeah. uh, that Mark Rusciuto would... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> would go, what you, well, I don't know why you're laughing, you see. I mean, this is very serious. <laughs> Rue was on and wow. it did very well. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. You're everything I have It's a good cho- choice of song, too. It's yeah. beautiful. Oh, the crowd loved it. Everything I need. Yeah, go, Rue! Yeah! So beautiful. Oh, I'm hitting my buzzer. All right, that's it, me too. <laughs> this is a long note. That's really clever to hold a note like that. Mine's still beating. What about yours, Tilda? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? Yeah, my name's Rue, and I'm a Crows legend. <laughs> Firstly, I mean, your voice is just uh, fills the space. It literally yeah. <laughs> filled the whole room, every single Thanks, corner. Tilda. Of it. Such an amazing tone, yeah. such depth, and apart from all that, I I really believed you, and that's oh, why great. I think all of us turned around. I think we'd be a great team together. I said, oh, well, you'd be good on the rush here, yeah, better than Dits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations. Great, uh, great, great song. Yeah, thanks. Pretty great song. Great voice. Very soulful. Yeah, thanks, Sea Lion. Seal. I think uh, you're going to make it easy for all of us coaches to, to, to win with you. Yeah, well, I've been coached by Malcolm Blight, so you'll have a hard act to follow. <laughs> He, he just, he simply charmed, he charmed the judges and uh, was funny and made the audience laugh and he did really well. So well done, Rue. And uh, I, th- I think he's going through because someone hit their Yeah, you do. So, yeah. You go through to the next round. Is that up. what happens? Mm, yeah. I wonder what his song choice is going to be next time. Uh, I think he's going to rock it up next time. Oh, God, is there more work coming? <laughs> if it's hot in Adelaide, it's on Triple M's Hot Breakfast. Every weekday from 6. Anything you missed from Triple M's Hot Breakfast? Get it on the podcast at triplem.com.au And don't miss out on natural gas. Make the connection for free with Investra. So I ended up going to the Alma on Friday. Cheryl and I thought we'd go down there and have lunch, you know, because they do a good lunch down at the Alma. Uh, Anyway, so um, we we saw a sign up too at the Alma saying, bingo, on Friday night. So Mm. that's that's really interesting. Cheryl said, oh, who calls the bingo? I said, well, Rue obviously calls the bingo. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It doesn't go well really with Rube doing it because no one AJ back of my shoe. <laughs> AJ now is he. What? 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 Forty four, wipe the floor, forty four. Bingo! I think. 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 Yeah, you better see the girl behind the bar. I've got to get out to the kids. Oh. <laughs> I think it's been renamed uh, Bingo, I think, I on it. Friday nights at the Alma. Now, well, apparently, I've heard you do actually have fun, right. and actually, they have someone that you can understand. Oh, yeah, and nice. they have the gold jacket on. The Master really? of Ceremonies wears oh, oh. the Crow's Best and Fairest gold jacket. Do they have, uh, <laughs> do they have uh, guest callers there, or what? Are we, what, we all going to go? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't. Are you, are you angling for a gig? No, I wouldn't be able to. I don't know. By the time they start, I can't speak. <laughs> but, uh, you're up for it, Blake. Anything you missed from Triple M's Hot Break? First, get it on the podcast at triplem.com.au. I listened. I listened yesterday to uh, Triple M's footy preview with the the great Chris Dittmar mm. and the great Warren Treadrea, yeah. and uh, it was it's good. I just was sitting there on my balcony with the radio on, and it, I mean, if you're a footy fan or one of these people that can stand around the water cooler and talk footy, you know, mm-hmm. like Dittmar and Treadrea mm-hmm. and you. 
Mm. Oh, uh, that, that I'm sure it's a good show, the footy yeah, preview. Yeah. You know, but for a footy footy fan like me who doesn't really know much and can't stand around the water cooler and talk footy and talk about the midfield down the corridor and who yeah. gives a crap, uh, <laughs> this is kind of what the footy preview sounded like to me. Just what came from out of the radio. Right loose change menu. Triple M rocks football. This is the footy preview for Momentum Energy, the positive energy in football. And a very good afternoon to you, Chris Dittmar here, and I'm joined by the great man himself, Warren Treadray. And Treaders, this looks like it'll be a great game. Did so I reckon this is going to be a terrific game, and I think if Port Adelaide hit out dominance forward 50 defensive pressure contested possessions, I think Port Adelaide will have a really good chance today to half-back, kick long, goal line, deep in defence, 55 out, last line of defence. <laughs> Treaders, I think that's right. But it really did swirly breeze on the bench, midfield on the ball, kick long, leading disposals, clear from the middle, kicking inside 50 on target. Absolutely. And I mean, uncontested possession. Three goal breeze stoppage cleared from defence turnover. Yeah, I agree with you, Treaders. And I mean, quite frankly, kick long tackles, not enough tools, did well last week on the bench. Yep, that's right. And did, if you don't, pushing forward, kick to a contest, attacking 50 across the face of goal. Yeah, but Treaders, top of the goal square, Kane Corns 50 metre penalty, forcing turnovers. Well, did, I agree with that, but if Port Adelaide boundary line short kick man on the mark fly on under pressure clears kicking to a contest, yep. then ultimate reward, Fremantle scoreboard, Santa Lance pays advantage, left half forward, big man centre wing out of sight. Yep. And Carlton draft disposals going in hard to prove yourself. <laughs> well, you can't argue with that. The great man, Warren Trevray on Triple M Football. Yeah. It's kind of just a blur of football words, but I'm sure it was really good. Anything you missed from Triple M's Hot Breakfast? Get it on the podcast at triplem.com.au. And don't miss out on natural gas. Make the connection for free. So my resident living lover, Cheryl, uh, was driving back from Gawler um, yesterday and listening to the rush hour. She said she was thoroughly entertained. She said the whole thing just kept me entertained the whole way because it was raining, pissing down, it was bumper to bumper, and horrible. no one can drive. And uh, No, that's right. And so um, she said it was great. And they had uh, Stephen Kernahan on. And I thought, that just sounds great. Rue and Kerno, you can't understand either of them. And I, <laughs> I just wanted to hear what that sounded Welcome like. Welcome back to the Rush Hour. And on the phone is Carlton legend Stephen Kernahan. G'day, Sticks. Yeah, g'day, Gordon. How are you having me? Yeah, listen, Sticks. You know, <laughs> you the, um, Carlton and then, yeah, and then what's been happening this season? Yeah, Rue, I'm just you know, fuck with the uh, Christmas speech. <laughs> been doing uh, a while, really. Yeah, I reckon the app went on the uh, blues went on all family in Melbourne and uh <laughs> can you have learning. Yeah, right, right. Uh, we we all do the old one at the end, we all have a school one of them. And uh but we don't do not but yeah, I'll play it. So how do you two think the blues are gonna end up this year? Yeah, what'd you say? Yeah, what? Yeah, see they didn't understand what because <laughs> did speaks English, they didn't know. <laughs> The Lamb's Hot Breakfast for the Hospital Research Foundation Home Lottery. Supporting life-saving cancer research at the QEH. Visit homelottery.com.au. I was, I was listening <laughs> now. Mark Rusciuto, Chris Dittmar. It's Triple M's Rush Hour. Yes, welcome back to the Rush Hour. Chris Dittmar with you, former world number one squash player but never world champion. Couldn't quite beat your hanger in all those world championships. Damn, why couldn't I beat him? Joined, of course, by former Crows football star, Mark Rusciuto. Now, Rue. <laughs> Ranger. I see that football great <laughs> Justin Madden wants to donate his brain to medical science yeah. so they can study the effects of concussion. Yeah, that's right, Ditch is, uh, at the moment there's a lot of uncertainty about the uh, effects of serious head injuries. Uh. Gee, Rue, I tell you what, as a parent, you know, if you've got kids playing these collision sports, um, every time your child goes out onto the field... Yeah. You never can tell just yeah. just what effect it might have on them in the future. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little frightening to think what you might end up with. Yeah. <laughs> so as a top-class footballer, have you ever been concussed, Roo? Oh, yeah, absolutely did. So, yeah, when I was uh, playing, uh, I was concussed about 20 times uh, in my career. And so do you think that it's actually affected you in some way? Uh, or had any sort of effect on you? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> or maybe, you know, change the way you would normally... Uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, I reckon it's... Um, because some people can maybe, you know, have short-term memory loss or, uh, or even in some cases affect their speech. Uh, no, I don't reckon it's affected that. It's more of a... Um, 
Um, I can't remember what it's called. So what, what other brains would you like to see donated to science? Whose brain springs to mind? Oh, yeah, um, Lara Bingle. Why Lara Bingle? <laughs> yeah, just to see if she ever thought about me. Fair enough. Who else? Uh, Gilligan. Gilligan? Yeah, find out why he didn't smash the skipper's head in. Okay. <laughs> Every time he hit me with his hat, I would have flattened him. All right. Fat prick. All right, give us a call now. <laughs> Tell us whose brain you'd like to see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think it has much of an effect, really. Yeah, uh, no. no, it's fine. Keep playing footy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Triple M's Hot Breakfast for the Hospital Research Foundation Home Lottery. Supporting life-saving cancer research at the QEH. Visit homelottery.com.au. Take a break with the best bits of Triple M's Hot Breakfast on the podcast at triplem.com.au. Take a break with your family and hit the highway, the highway, with a Jayco caravan from Great Rates Australia Caravan Hire. Listening to the Rush Hour the other day, the uh, fabulous Rush Hour on Triple M, three to six weekdays it is, with uh, former world number one squash player, um, um, what's his name? Uh, Chris Dittmar and Mark yeah. Ricciuto. <laughs> And uh, they were trying to get Neil Craig on for an interview about all the stuff, and they were having all sorts of trouble getting him on. I don't know what was going wrong. I didn't. I didn't get to uh, to find out if they got him because I I couldn't listen, so I just made the rest of it up. <laughs> now, Mark Rusciuto, Chris Dittmar, it's Triple M's Rush Hour. Yes, and welcome to the Rush Hour. Chris Dittmar with you and Mark Rusciuto, Roo. Yeah, it's exciting about to and Craig this afternoon. That's right. I'm looking forward to talking to Neil Craig, and he should be there right now. Craigie, how how are you? You there, Neil? <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's there, Rue. No, I not sound like... Well, that's right. We'll try and track him down. and We want to ask him about the Crows' chances and whether... Hey, it looks like I'm on... Uh, well, it looks like we've got him this time. Neil Craig, welcome to the Rush Hour. Yeah, good day, Craigie. How you go, mate? You there, Craigie? <laughs> Yeah, we must have some real trouble finding Craigie at the moment. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's a pity. I want to find out what he thinks of Mick Mildhouse's comments about uh, the crows. And, uh... Yep, that's for sure, and a lot of other questions we want to ask him too. Yeah, I think he's on the line now, dude. Right, I think we might have him on the line right now. Neil Craig, welcome to the Rush Hour. Oh, for f- <laughs> well, this can't be happening, can it? Yeah, I think it might be. Oh, geez, are you there, Craigie? Yeah, hello. Oh, we've got you uh, finally. Yeah, 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 bloody right. He's starting to think we'd lost you, Craigie. Hello? Yeah. Yes, Craigie, <laughs> welcome to Russia. <laughs> no, it's Jeff here. I want to hear Cheap Wine by Cold Chisel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the Rush Hour. Give us a break, Jeff. Yeah, we don't sit here and do requests, Jeff. <laughs> it's the Rush Hour here. Jeff, it's a sports show. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Have you ever kind of thought of... Packing it in and doing a request show. <laughs> 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 we're ruined. Yeah, Jenny's on the line here again, Jenny. I'm good. And who do you want to say hi to? Um, I want to say hi to Sally and to Sodha and my boyfriend Damien and my sister Janice. Yeah, it's great, Jenny. And what song do you want to hear? Um, can I hear Time of Your Life by Green Day? Yeah, you sure can, Jenny. And hope you have a great over, Jenny. Here it is for you right now, Jenny. Ruined its over request 104.7 <laughs> Triple M Green Day. Yeah. Yeah. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. <laughs> Triple M's Rush Hour. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, hot breakfast from Monday. I don't know if you've been told that we're going all current affairs talk. Oh. We're going to take double A head on oh, and oh. really give them a run for their money. Wow. So that's from Monday. Can I can I tell you with the Neil Craig thing? Yeah. That they finally Craigie had not been returning any of Roos texts. No contact. Oh, is that what was going on? So they finally got Craigie responded to one. He says, <laughs> right. "I've got to, I've got to run it by my media manager." <laughs> <laughs> Mark Rashido, yeah. who? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break with the best bits of Triple M's Hot Breakfast on the podcast at triplem.com.au. Take a break with your family and hit the highway. The highway. With a Jayco caravan from Great Rates Australia Caravan Hire. Rates